President touched down in Cleveland around 1 this afternoon before we headed over to Tri-C to tour the school's Manufacturing Technology Center. This was the president's first visit to Northeast Ohio since taking office. Our Mark Namick was there. Our event here was canceled in March. Our economy was on the brink of collapse. The president's visit today about winning public support for his expansive and expensive infrastructure bill as negotiations with Republicans remain alive for a possible compromise, though looking slimmer each day. The president has trimmed his plan back from more than $2 trillion to $1.7 trillion. What kind of economy are we going to build for tomorrow? What are we going to do? I believe this is our moment to rebuild an economy from the bottom up and the middle out. Not a trickle-down economy from the very wealthy. That has never benefited people who are at this college or any other place where they're working, trying to make a living. Republicans say the plan's still too costly, and they've made a second counteroffer today, coming in at a fraction of what he wants. They agree on the need to fix bridges and roads and other critical infrastructure, but the president wants more money to address education, the digital divide, technology training, climate change, and other Democratic priorities. He said if Congress doesn't invest heavily now in its economy, America could lose its competitive position. We must be number one in the world to lead the world in the 21st century. It's a simple proposition. He says he'll tax the wealthiest to pay for it, and the time is good for taking on debt. My plan is the right way to invest, spreading key investments over time so we limit the price pressure. This is the right time to invest when we have historically low interest rates. Investing now with a plan to pay for it that is fiscally responsible thing to do. Of course, there are critics out there who want to stand still. By the way, some of those critics are the same people who said that money was no object when it came, as I said, to that $2 trillion tax cut. The president also talked up his efforts to distribute the vaccine, saying that was really the first step towards getting the economy back. And Russ, he also acknowledged Ohio's newest millionaire, really using that as a point to say whatever it takes to get people vaccinated. Okay, Russ? got to ask you now about the minimum wage. Of course, it's been a hot issue in Washington and around the country. Did the president bring that up today? He did. You know, he, he themed this event uh, a blueprint for blue-collar jobs and said that the nation should have a $15 minimum wage, but acknowledged the competitiveness of the market right now is forcing some companies to pay that. Russ? Okay, Mark Namick, thank you.